if you like or love Bassett's you I think you have to be as someone said um, like to laugh and and have maybe have lots of patience because they don't train very easily <laughs> now Bassett is a dog and it, the phrase I use it is really not good for much except for love and laughter and and Bassett's just want to be where you are and they love food they have a very strong nose they were trained as hounds to to uh, hunt and their so their nose is as strong as any hound but they really don't want to move very much once once they get past about two years old they're 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 happy just to sit and they'll come and they'll flop down beside you and they're not easily trained they're not they're not you can see that from the best trick today that they they really don't do tricks <laughs> so if they howl on command that's a big deal and if they roll over that's really quite remarkable Keeping them focused, I think, is the biggest problem. <laughs> uh, but Charlie's a pretty high-energy dog, uh, which is a little unusual for a Basset. So figured he'd be good at it if we could keep him focused, and I guess it worked. <laughs> so with that being said, why would you have a, a Basset race? Because, because we know it's not going to turn out like a regular race. Because we know that there will be those dogs just like today that ran off to the side or stopped to um, take a comfort break or um, ran across the field in front of other people or just, you know, sat down and decided that they weren't going to run. So it's because it has to make people smile. And that's really why it's, it's about trying to bring some cheerfulness to that pretty hectic society of ours. And Bassett's, you know, could teach us a lot about just let's just take it cool and take it easy and feed me and give me a nice warm spot to curl up in and I'm happy.